Okay, well, let me mute everybody. That would be smart. So we have a clear recording. Well, welcome everybody to my very first time blocking workshop and actually my very first workshop ever. I've never done this before, um, but I, oh, here comes Chris, but this is something that I'm super passionate about. I have been using time blocking and time management, um, not only for my business, um, but basically in life for the last, I would say 16 years since I found out I was pregnant with twins. Um, so let's get right into sharing my screen and going through everything that we are going to um, talk about today. Let me make sure that you guys can see it. It says I started sharing my screen, but I don't know if you see anything yet. Let me retry it. I have been having lots of difficulties with sharing my screens. Okay. I started sharing my screen. If you guys can see it, unmute and say I can see it. And if you can't, please tell me. I cannot see it. This is Diana. Okay. Just Not the wheel of death. Just the wheel of death. Okay. Yeah. We'll try again. Sometimes it takes a little bit. It's coming and I apologize. For some reason, it's been taking me a while and it could definitely be the storm for me. I hope not. All right, let's see. This is gonna take me a hot minute to deal with because the slides are important. It took us like five minutes to get it started last time. Okay. Let's try one more time. Hi, Chris. Thank you for popping in. Do you have a screen that says, you know, which, which screen you need to choose? Like you click on that one? Yes. And this that. is what it says, wheel of death. That's why I wanted it on my phone too. Um, let me see, I can get out of here. I like to close as many things as I can. Let's just keep trying. We're just gonna keep trying. It does take a bit, but while you're waiting for me, if you wanna get out your planner or your calendar or um, your pens, your stickers, anything that you grabbed for this event, that would be great. I knew this was going to happen, so I apologize. I will have to tell people to fast forward through the recording. <laughs> oh, darn. Okay. Anything? Anybody? You still have the wheel of death? Darn it. I'm so sorry. Um... I'm choosing the screen and it says I have started screen sharing and it's not working. Okay. Anything for anybody. We tested this yesterday for like 30 minutes to make sure that it would work. How about now? Do you see anything now? You can unmute and let me know. I have it in a full screen. Anything, anybody? I'm okay with you unmuting. It just says Dora Marie is has started screen sharing still. Just a black screen. Dang. Okay. Sorry. No, it's not your fault. It's mine. <laughs> and oh, let me let me let Pam in. Our power has been flickering here too. I think it's probably because of storm. I think you're right, Chris. Because I didn't have any. I mean, yes, I had some issues yesterday, but. We've gotten over five inches here. I know, that's what we have. Uh, 
All right. Well, I'm going to be respectful of your time. I will try and get it to go later, but I'm just going to click, go through the slides myself and then we'll go from there. Hey, Pam, welcome. So here's what we're going to talk a little bit about today. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about me and then what time blocking actually is, um, your personal family boundaries, and then we're going to practice. And then we're going to have a little bit of homework because if you know me, um, you know, I like homework and I like to give a little bit of fun tasks to all of you. So, um, since I'm just talking quickly about myself, you don't need the slide. Um, a couple fun facts about me. I am a 2002 graduate from Penn State. Um, I have a mass, uh, bachelor's of science in art education with minors in art history and dance. And then I have my master's from Immaculata University in administration. So those things behind me. Um, are my diploma and the big one with the lion is from Penn State. Um, I'm actually certified to teach art and dance K through 12. And I also have my uh, principal certificate. So I am technically uh, a principal, but I will probably never use that. Um, I did it for my dad. I have my master's plus 30 and it's just there. That was a chapter in my life that I have not chosen to go back to, but I may later on. Um, I live here in Northern Virginia, about 45 minutes from DC. I'm married to my high school sweetheart for the last 17 and a half years. We have twins who are 14 and a half, and we have a 10 year old son as well. And everybody is a boy in this house. So I'm doing a lot of cooking. I'm doing a lot of planning. I'm doing a lot of meal prepping. It is exhausting, um, but I love it. I wouldn't change anything. And um, I also have uh, two new business opportunities besides this one that I'm doing um, along with being a Tula 12 ambassador and an SND or Stella and Dot um, ambassador as well. So let's just dig into time blocking and I'm gonna try and share my screen one more time. Uh, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Um, yeah, anyway, I got it, yay. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about what time blocking is and the practice of it. So I really started time blocking when, like I said, I had twins. I was 26 years old and I had no help <laughs> besides my husband who had to work all day. So it was me and two babies. And I know Pam can relate because she's in here and she also has twins as well. I needed to come up with a schedule and I needed to block off my time. So I knew when to feed them, when they would nap, when we would play and when I would get anything done in the house, like actually feed myself and shower. Those were the only two important things that I needed to accomplish um, when they were babies. So time blocking is the practice of planning out every moment of your day in advance and dedicating specific blocks of time for certain tasks and responsibilities. Like I said, my priorities when the twins were babies was that everybody ate, everybody napped and everybody took a shower. That was all I cared about. That was it. Obviously, as time progressed, there were more things that we needed to do, and we are going to go over those today. Why time blocking is valuable is I personally feel that you can accomplish your tasks quicker and more efficiently when you block off time for them. Today, I blocked off 11 to 12 to be here with you, and I had to pivot a little bit since everybody's home now because of the snow, my husband's in charge. I said, I need an hour. They're yours. You deal with it. Everybody has a task to do, whether that's read, brush your teeth, make your bed, get dressed, get your snow stuff out, whatever. They have their hour. And then at 12 o'clock, they can go outside and I will help them when I'm done. Um, I also feel that you are able to handle less important tasks, things that you don't want to do and possibly menial tasks like pay the bills, send a couple emails, do all of the social obligation stuff that my mom calls, uh, like writing out birthday cards, sending out thank you notes, doing all of that stuff. So you're not all over the place like, oh my gosh, I have to do this and I have to do that. If you are 
consistently giving yourself the time every day to get your tasks done, then they will get accomplished. Okay, so here are some of the benefits and I spelled benefits wrong, I'm sorry. Um, it helps you balance your urgent and important tasks. It forces you to make a commitment to your priorities. It promotes deep work while combating procrastination. So for instance, I give myself an hour, sometimes two, to get blocks of work done for both of my businesses. I am super productive in the morning because I wake up before everybody else. I have the entire office to myself. It's quiet. And I have my to-do list of everything that I need to do the day before. So it works out very well for me. And I feel like I am really accomplishing the work that I need to accomplish. I am also and time blocking will help you become more realistic with your time. So if you know that you want to eat dinner as a family at six o'clock every day this week, what are you going to do to prepare for that? And what are you going to get done so that you can have that time with your family? So all of that kind of plays, plays into that. Uh, when I was doing my research about time blocking, I learned about Parkinson's law, which I didn't know about. And I thought it was very interesting. Um, Parkinson's law is work expands as to fill the time available for its completion. And that makes so much sense. We are taking all of our tasks that we want to get done in a day, and we are just dividing them up in the hours and the days and the weeks and the months so that they can become accomplished. And it also lets you say no. For me, um, I love being a substitute teacher and I try and sub at least once a week. But when I have things like this happening and I want to be present for my customers and I want to be present for my family, I can say no. Like, no, my schedule is too busy this week. I don't have time to do this. But here's when I do have time to do this when things are freed up and maybe it's a slower week and it's not a launch week, things like that. So I don't feel guilty saying no anymore. I used to, but I don't feel guilty now because I know when I can say yes and when I can say no. Okay, so I thought my introduction was gonna be a little bit longer than that, but now it's time to get started because I really want this to be a lot of interaction with all of you so that we can do this together and really help you get started uh, with time blocking. So grab your planner, grab your Google Calendar, grab your family planner, all those things, grab it all. And let's start by um, talking a little bit about your month. So take your calendar or your planner and open it up to January, 2022. If you don't have a planner or a calendar right now, you can even just write it on a piece of paper and pull something up uh, on the computer. You'll need your different colored gel pens. I don't know if anybody was able to purchase the pens, but these erasable pens have been a lifesaver for me. I'm a little obsessed with them. So these are the current colors I'm using um, for my kiddos. And then if you have any stickers you wanna use, I've already completed January. So these are my February stickers. And then your kids' school schedules, your kids' sports schedules, um, activities, doctor's appointments, birthday parties, and other events. So I am going to stop sharing for our pause sharing for a hot minute and go back to the Zoom so I can see you guys. Let me stop sharing. Okay. There we go, making sure nobody gets in. Um, so I am going to take my planner and do this with all of you. So open your planner to the month of January. I am going to do uh, 
like I said, I'm going to do February. Everybody okay so far? Yes? Okay. So I like to start out with the month and we'll, I'll share my screen and then we'll actually do it. But when I look at the month, I think of all of the obligations that I have to do. Who has what birthday? When is our doctor's appointments? Do we have school? Do we not have school? Do we have practice? Do we have piano? Do I have a haircut? All of that. And if you're a sticker person, I highly recommend all things stickers. Um, I have the monthly ones. So I'm going to use the February ones for February, but you can get any type of stickers. They have um, what, what I posted and shared in the group, I think is great uh, because I have ones like for haircuts and doctor's appointments and, and all that. So, all right, let me share my screen again. So you can see the slide of what we are going to do. And I'm not going to make it big, but this is where we're going to start. So let's start uh, by doing your family birthdays. So anybody who you know that you maybe send a card to or have to purchase gifts for, um, put that down for February. And these are super cute. So I'm going to put the heart for all of these. So my husband, and I'm just going to talk you through this right now. Um, my husband has a birthday on February 5th and my niece, so these are very fun. Valentine's day. I'm going to put a heart on that because that is my cousin's birthday. And then, oh, the bunny's cute. My niece has a birthday on February 23rd and my other niece has a birthday and I'll put the bunny on her has a birthday on February 8th and Chuck's brother has a birthday on February the 12th okay so I have my birthdays done. Now, next is doctor appointments. I don't know if I have any. <laughs> right now, it doesn't look like I have any. I am gonna have a haircut, but I don't know when that is going to be because I have a haircut tomorrow, possibly. Um, so right now, I'm gonna let that one I'm gonna let that one slide. Okay, the next is hair, nail, and other appointments. So for those of you that get your nails done, your your hair, anything that is like a non-negotiable, do that right now. And I'm while you do that, I'm gonna pull up the um, our school calendar because it's just easier for me to do it that way. I don't remember all of the things. It's only one date for school calendar for PWC, Dora. I know. Well, the only thing we have off is a President's Day, right? For February, yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, then I will stop. I will stop sharing so we could get in here. And then I will put what I like about these stickers is that it says important. So I always like to do the important sticker on the days that we don't have school because if not I'm gonna forget oh, these are not there we go okay so I am putting that down important and then once my stickers are in I'm just gonna start writing so write down once you have your stickers in you can say oh it's my husband's birthday or it's my kid's birthday or it's my niece's birthday um do that do that now this is you know, interactive. And if you have any questions or uh, maybe something that you have done in your planner that you would like to share with us, go for it. I'm going to do this and then I will show you um, what I'm doing. Now, the, 
the soccer schedules are a little out of control for me because I have three kids on three different teams. So what I'll do is I'll complete it and then I'm going to take a picture of it and I'll, and I'll post it later so that you can see um, it completed. Um, I have to think, my husband's going to be 43. Uh, I like to write that down too. Okay, Hannah's day. And then, okay, notes, Google. And then Wednesday. She's gonna be three, she's gonna be nine. So once you have done, and I'll pull this up so that you can see it. Um, once you have done all of your family birthdays and your appointments and, and everything like that. Now you can take a look at if you are a business owner. So let me share my screen again. I don't want to take too much time on the stickers. I could sticker for like 30 minutes, you guys. Um, I really like stickering up my planner and uh, this is, uh, I will zoom in as much as I can, but this is my January. I will take a picture of it and post my January, but I have stickers for um, my social media coach, my haircut, all of the soccer practices. It's quite bad. So I'll take, I'll take a picture of it and share it with you, but I'm sticker happy. And if you want to be sticker happy later, that is great because um, your homework is going to be to take a picture of this and post it. And when you do that, you're going to be entered to win the special surprise that you're not going to find out about until Wednesday. I promise you it will be filled with goodies to fill your planner. Or if you don't have a planner, it will be a planner. That's all I'm saying <laughs> to get you started. Um, so next, let me move on. Oh, wrong mouse. I have two things going. So the next thing I'm going to do is talk a little bit about your business. Okay. I know just about all of you in here have either a direct sales business or you have a, another business that you do, whether that is a side hustle or that is your primary focus um, for your income. Let me click present so you can see it in the big screen. So now that you have things blocked off where you've got your doctor's appointments, you've got school, you've got birthdays, you've got everything that's important to you. That could be a networking meeting. That could be lunch with a girlfriend, what have you. Once all of that is in your monthly calendar in your planner, then you need to take a little bit of a step back and look to see when you want to have events if you do events or when you want to work your business. I um, like to run girls night ins on Mondays and Wednesdays. Those are the nights that are open. Um, only one child right now has practice and, you know, Facebook is wonderful where you can set things up to schedule all by themselves. So you really don't have to do much of anything. And those are my two days where I like to have everything, um, scheduled. And I like to run my parties on Mondays and Wednesdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays are crazy town because not only do we have high school practice, but we also have evening practice. So those two days are out um, for anything for me. So be strategic and decide when you want to run events. If you run um, week-long Facebook events, you know, do you start them on Sundays? Do you start them on a Wednesday? Now you, you have to take a look at what works for you. Okay. Now the second step is a CEO day, which I have never done before, but I'm going to start implementing. So um, I'm going to make Mondays and Wednesday mornings, my CEO days, and I'm really going to work on my personal business, whether that's thank you notes, whether that's, um, reach outs, whether that's follow-ups, whether 
that is just checking, checking in with a customer. It could also be team stuff. You know, those are, those are just things that I want to work on for myself. Um, it could even be all I do is work on Instagram and I promise we will talk about social media on the third day. We're not going to talk about it today uh, because we have a whole other insert and a whole other way to get organized for that. Um, so give yourself a CEO day where you work on things just for yourself. And then the last one for your business is if you have a team, what days are you going to help them with their coaching? What days are you going to help them with anything that they need? It could be a day. It could be just a couple hours. Um, it could be an hour on Tuesday and Thursday. You know, decide what's going to fit based on your family. Um, now I'm going to stop sharing a hot minute and talk a little bit about glass balls and rubber balls. And I don't know if you've ever heard anybody talk about this, but your glass balls are your non-negotiables. What is non-negotiable for you? For me, my non-negotiable is I have to take a nap every day and I will show you how I pencil that in every day. Um, Another non-negotiable for me is I don't work past eight o'clock. I don't. That is a hard stop for me. So that is a glass ball. Another glass ball is my boys' games, helping them with their homework. All of the things that are super important to you, those are your glass balls. Your rubber balls are things that you could let bounce during your month or even your day. So for instance, if you don't get your laundry done today, they could bounce until tomorrow. Or if you don't get a chance to write out five thank you notes today, it could bounce and then you do 10 thank you notes tomorrow. Um, I love uh, talking about the glass balls and rubber, rubber balls because you have to do what's important for you. And you have to do what is going to be important for your business and whatever are going to be income producing activities and not, I'm going to scroll on Facebook for 30 minutes and get nothing done. If you block that into your day, then of course you could do that. The best time for me to sit and scroll and check on all of you is when I'm sitting in the car and I'm waiting for the boys. Um, I pick them up every day from school. So I have a good two hours in the car. I give myself an hour of that time to scroll and the rest of the time I work back and forth and back and forth. I also eat. I also listen to a podcast. I also do a lot of things while I'm sitting in the car. Sometimes I'll call Rebecca. You know, it just depends on, uh, on my day and what I have accomplished and what I, what I didn't accomplish. So now that we have that, I'll give you guys a couple minutes to just like figure out in your planners what days um, are going to work for you for your business. And I'm going to go get my social media, or pause, rewind, Dora. I am going to get my business planner and show you how I block. So I have two different planners. The purple one that I showed you is my personal one. And then this one is my business one. You can have one. You don't need to have two separate. I have two separate because it's easier for me to um, stay focused. But this is how I keep track of my business ones because I have too many practices uh, to keep track of. So I just have, this is when I run my parties. All my Wednesdays have a sticker. And I have one sticker for today. And these are the stickers for the time blocking thing. So this is so I know and how I can keep track. This stays in my purse and I work on this in the car. I also hide thank you notes in here so I can write out thank you notes while I'm sitting in the car. They already have address labels and stamps on them. So I can quickly write them out and then stick them in the mail the next day. Um, but that's why I have two separate ones. You don't have to do that. If you don't do events for your business, that's fine. 
you just focus on your little happy monthly one and then you're good to go. Okay, how are we doing with- hey, yes. I have a question. Yes. What inserts do you have in your business planner? That's a great question. Okay, it is filled to the brim. I have um, the monthly and then I have the events and notes. So if you do a lot of vendor events, I have that one. And the reason why I like that one is because I do an online vendor event a month um, for Tula. And I like, I like the way it's laid out. Oh, let me see if I can show you. So you just write everything down, like the organizer, how much you paid, which would help for tax purposes. And then I'm, I keep track of anybody who commented here. Um, and the next one is parties and notes. So that's for direct sales parties because this one, I'll cover up the address. Like you still have a whole side to write notes. And then right here, you have your whole side to write about your hostess, which is great. Um, social media, which we will get to uh, on the last day. And then I have the password one. So I'm keeping all of my passwords in here. I usually forget them if they're not saved. Um, but those are the ones that I, that I have in here. And then I have an extra insert in case I need it. I also got um, this extra little sleeve and I keep extra stickers in here in case something comes up that I, that I want stickers. Again, I'm sticker happy. So I really like <laughs> using stickers, um, especially if I have an insert that I don't want to use all the things, I'm going to put a sticker over it and then use it for what I want to use it for. So I highly recommend getting a, a fun sticker pack and just, like I said, go, go happy on it. So that's why I keep that separate just because I have too many kids with too many activities. I think Pam can vouch for that too. Um, Cause hers are all over the place as well. It's hard, you know, once they're in high school it's hard to keep track of all the activities. So for me that works. Okay, so now we have the month and what do you think we're gonna do next? Question answer, you can just yell out. You don't have to stay muted. We're gonna do the week. We need to plan our week. Okay, so now we know, and I'll share my screen um, now that it's working and we got to figure it out. Uh, now we can talk a little bit about the week and this is the fun part. So the insert that I got that I love is an hourly breakdown. <clears throat> the reason why I got this one is because if I didn't have, the, if I just had the blocks, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be sticker happy and it's not going to be productive for me. I like this insert because I can give each child a different color and each part of my life a different color and block out my time. Okay. So what we're going to do together is we are going to block out all the things that we, we have to do, which are glass balls. So we either have to take our kids to school. We have to do practice all of those things. We're going to do that first. Then we're going to block in when we're going to work on our business. And then we're going to block in me time. And I don't know if you can see, but I have two blocks for me time here. So let me get out of this and I'm going to um, show you what I did on mine because I know it's hard to see. Does everybody have um, like a weekly section in their planner. Yeah. Who doesn't have a weekly section? Pam, you don't. Okay. Linda, if you, if you do, or you don't just let us know, you can, you can help. Um, or I can help you, excuse me. So I know it's going to be really hard to see, but I will start out with today. So 
it, the, the weekly insert that I have starts at 7 a.m. I put my workout in there. So I have pink for all things Dora. And I wrote workout every day at 7 a.m. across the board. Okay. And I'll take a picture and zoom in closer so that you guys can see that. And then the next thing I did, like I did all the time things for Dora when I wanted to work out. Because for me, that is a glass ball this week. I have to work out five days a week. I even wrote it up here. Like this is important. And when I do it, I'm going to check it off. So I did my workout. Let's see. I'm going to cross it off. Because I did it already. Okay. Now for my Tula 12 business, I took teal and I wrote down throughout the entire week when um, I have a vendor event. So I have to post an vendor event on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday from eight to 12. So I wrote that down because I also need to be present during that time. I also wrote down when I have to have my girls night in and when I need to reach out to my hostesses. And um, that's all I did for that. My blue is for my boys. I wrote down that I have to take them to school. So the twins have school at 7.30. Dominic has to be at school for nine. I wrote boys school. And I will cross that off because it makes me happy when they have to go to school. I had it here, but guess what I did? We have a snow day, so I erased it because they're home. <laughs> so again, that's why I love these erasable pens because then you can just erase the mistakes that you made. Um, and then all things for the time block is purple. So I wrote that down. And if you can, I know it's hard to see, but I have it all the way through Thursday because we're going to do a little recap on Thursday at 11 o'clock. So I blocked out every day this week from 11 to 12 Eastern time to be here with you and to work with you and share my knowledge. And then I have this other pink color for all things um, Acorn. That is the uh, business coach that I work with. So I have that throughout the week. And then soccer is black. So soccer is written down here where I need to be, when I need to be, all of that. So for me, it just works out so much better to use an hourly format because then I know what's left over. So I penciled in myself a nap for 1230, but I can pivot because we're home and I'm not going to eat lunch now until one o'clock with my boys. So I can take my nap at 130 and then I have the rest of the evening to hang out with them, watch a movie or do whatever. Um, tomorrow is a little different because I have an event tomorrow night and we're supposed to have soccer practice, but that's not going to happen. You know, so what I did is I took everything that we were going to do for the month and I put it in here. So now I can see when I can work my business, when I can meal prep and cook, when I can get my cleaning done, all the things that I have to do. I don't have um, a house cleaner. I don't have an assistant. It's just me. So I need to make sure that I block in all of the time for myself, for the kids, for my husband, all of that. And this has been a huge, huge help for me. So Pam right now is the only one that doesn't have this. You guys can go through and block your week. Um, and that's going to be your homework. So I'm going to share your homework right now. We already did weekly. So this is, this is it. It's pretty simple. Um, take 15 minutes and go through your January monthly calendar and make it sticker happy. Write down, use different pens, have fun with it because the more fun you have with it and the more you spend planning, the more time you're going to have back in your day. Um, 
I apparently have the whole day to do whatever I want <laughs> because I got everything done. I mean, I saw I have to pencil in some laundry, but other than that, I have the time to to get it done. And then your second part of your homework is to um, block out week one. So today is January 3rd. It is the first day of this week. And I just want you to block this off. And if you have um, it's sectioned in blocks and you want to block that off too, that is completely fine if you don't have the hourly. Um, let me grab my old planner and show you guys how I used to block it off with just a block. I save all of my old planners um, as a just in case. So this is a typical, this was, this was my old happy planner, but this is a typical week that I would block off. There are different colors and the Mickey stickers meant that we had a game. That's it. I just kept it really simple um with the different different pens and different colors for me that's a that's kind of a tame week i'm just gonna look for like an insane week to show you guys and sometimes i do post-it notes i think it just depends on your your comfort zone like here this is this is a normal weekend game 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 game, game. this is what happens and this is why Dora doesn't do any events on the weekends because I can't I have to, we usually have to split. So um, any questions about day one and what time blocking is and how to use it? I have a feeling that once you guys really sit and go through and block out times for all of your tasks, then you'll have more time to sit and watch TV and take a break or take a nap. Um, do I block for the whole household? Do I list out what I'm doing in that block? Diana, I do. I do sometimes. So, um, if we go back to school this week, I don't know if we, we will, but, um, Thursday is going to be my cleaning day. So I need two hours in the morning to get my cleaning done from nine to 11. So yeah, that's going to be my, my cleaning time. And then every Friday I blocked it out. I know it was really hard to see. I am going to take a picture and post all of these in the group underneath the homework thread. So you can see what, what mine looks like. The post is going to come at four o'clock um, because I want to, to download this recording so that I can share it with everybody. But um, every Friday I go to the grocery store and it takes me from nine to 11 to go to the store bring everything home, put it away, organize everything, throw out the old food, you know, all of that. Um, do I do all the weeks at once or each Sunday? Great question, Haley. I do that every Sunday. So every Sunday we sit down and we go through the schedule for the week. And I sit with my husband because I have to ask him, are you taking Gabe? Am I taking Zach? Who's doing what? Like, cause we have to split we have to split and I hate it. Um, but that's the only way that, that we can stay organized. For the most part, I do the whole morning, but anything in the evening, that's when we have to split. And I know we're not talking meal prepping or anything at all, but yesterday we, my husband grilled and made all the meat. So we do massive meal prep. And if this goes over well and you guys wanna do a whole meal planning section, um, I'll, I will partner with a nutritionist and, and we can get that done as well. But we cook all weekend so that we just kind of sporadically eat. That's helpful too, because that's less time that I have in the kitchen and more time that I can help my 10 year old with his homework. Um, the big planner, this is the XL. So my purple one is the XL. And then my business one is the medium because I can throw that in my purse and I could work on it whenever. But the big one, yeah, it, it stays on my desk. So I could look at it and cross things off, which I'm going to do after this <laughs> because I like to cross things off and I like to feel accomplished. I also do a to-do list for every day. I'm a big proponent of brain dumping. Um, I don't, I ordered the wrong 
to-do list um, inserts. But just for today, I quickly wrote it on a piece of paper and I'm just crossing it off. But tomorrow it will be better in a to the to-do list insert and then I can just check off all the things that I do. But I like to brain dump every night and be like, don't forget you have to do this, especially if I didn't block it out. So yeah, that's it. So if you have any questions, um, please post in the Facebook group, however you want. Um, I'm really excited to see your January monthly calendars in your week one. And like I said, if you didn't get a chance to get these pens, I'm really obsessed with them that I can erase and use them and everybody has a different color especially if you have multiple children or if you have different businesses. I know Diana has two businesses and if you work full time and you have a side hustle, you know, it, it works well if you can color code and I will find a picture. Um, my Tula mentor does the weekly block. So I will get her a picture of her planner and I will also post it and say, you can do it like this, or you can do it like this. There's, there's several different ways to do it, but as long as you are blocking out time for all of your important glass balls and you have some time for yourself, that's all that you need. And we're going to dig deep into all of that a little bit more tomorrow. Today is just kind of getting organized. So that's it. Well, thanks ladies for joining. Um, I hope this was the highlight of your day, minus the snow, if you're where, I, where I'm at. And I will post the homework at four o'clock so you can start working on that now. And please post because you will be entered to win some surprises. I like to give things away, like a lot. So um, is Brain Dump on my to-do list, Andrea? Yeah every day <laughs> brain dumping and you can brain dump in a journal. You can brain dump on a piece of paper. Um, I have found that if I go to bed without doing a brain dump, I cannot sleep. I'm thinking about all the things I have to do tomorrow and I don't want to do that. I just want to have my list. So then I wake up and I'm ready to go. So that's it. All right. Well, thanks ladies. I so appreciate you and I can't wait to see your homework. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.